you still man. In Vancouver, Dr. Tony Chua meets with a patient. Chua is one of about 300 traditional Chinese medicine doctors in the Canadian province of British Columbia. A doctor in traditional medicine for 30 years, Chua has been running a clinic here in Vancouver since 2000. He says the number of patients has been growing and becoming more diverse in their backgrounds. Chinese medicine not just treatment pain. Acupuncture, some people understand all、oh, treatment pain, but、uh, we all together not just treatment pain. We treatment many diseases, like Crohn's disease, like fibromyalgia, like osteoarthritis, like cancer, like many people they after chemo, after radiation. The energy very low. They want to keep energy and everything. Okay. Chua uses a diagnosis technique in which he handles the patient's hands, wrists, and fingertips, feeling their pulse and looking for blockages or ailments linked to the body's organs. He prescribes various Chinese herbal remedies imported from China, or he performs acupuncture to eliminate the blockage. He says when he first started, 90% of his patients were Western, but with a massive inflow of Chinese immigrants to the Metro Vancouver, his patients mix is now about half Chinese and half non-Chinese. Many patients, many diseases, West doctor, West like a, like a treatment, good, but some pet disease they can treatment. BC officially recognized acupuncture in 1996, followed by aspects of traditional Chinese medicine in 2000. Practitioners like Chu are regulated and certified by the College of Traditional Chinese Medicine practitioners and acupuncturists. This patient has been coming to see Zhu for many years. She says her friend referred her after deciding that Zhu helped to save her husband's life. She says Zhu helped her to reduce her blood pressure, and she's been coming to see him ever since. Many ways to help her. The first, like high blood pressure, and after take some herbal medicine, become low. So become normal. So and uh, and uh, later on, like、uh, when she feel any problems, she come here and take some medication and become better. And uh, uh, her whole family, the the childrens and all come here. Yeah. Traditional Chinese medicine remains largely outside the BC's public health system. That means most patients must pay for their own treatments. One session can cost up to a hundred and twenty dollars at some clinics. But Zhuo says demand is surging. He has patients who come to see him from other cities, provinces, and even countries. Usually half half every day, or maybe more West people. We not like Vancouver people, or maybe from Nanaimo, from Kelowna, from Squamish. And from like Alberta. Since 2014, the number of registered acupuncturists in BC has climbed from 771 to 846, a sign that interest in the treatment is growing. Meanwhile, the number of doctors of traditional Chinese medicine grew in the same period.